Hello everybody, my name is Megan Stark. I'm the owner of Great Lakes Supply Co. And you are about to watch the most comprehensive SAS Tech armor video on the internet so far. At the moment, my online store has the broadest selection of SAS Tech armor available. And I wanted to walk you through all the different variations ventilated, level one, level two, and why you might want to choose some over the others. If you're ready to upgrade your gear with some of the best armor on the market, keep watching and I'll show you which options are best for you. First, let's get into what SAS Tech body protection systems are. They are a German company and the SAS stands for shock absorbing systems. And they were founded in 2004. The protectors that they manufacture are made of viscoelastic semi-soft foam. And semi-soft is the right word for it because I'd say they are neither firm nor soft. They are somewhere in between. They don't have the plush factor, but they also aren't hard plastic feeling. The majority of the protectors that we sell at Great Lake Supply Co. have a tear resistant TPU coated fabric backing on them. These are all lightweight, flexible, and hand washable. They're not destroyed on impact and they're reusable. So after you outfit all your gear, you can keep these for a lifetime. The way they work is that the textured grid side, which Sastec calls the elements, compress to distribute the force and absorb the shock. That's why you want to wear the protectors with the fabric backing on the outside in the vast majority of cases because those help the contour happen and help those grid pieces fit together and distribute the force instead of spreading them out. When it comes to the protection level you're getting, the lower residual force transmitted means the higher the protection level. So if you want some more information on level one versus level two, we have a whole designated blog post about that where we talk about that in the CE rating system. But for pretty good rule of thumb, level two absorbs double the impact that level one does. It transmits less force, so you'll be seeing smaller numbers for more protection when it comes to how many kilonewtons they transfer. And level two is most often recommended for motorcyclists. So let's get into the protection options that we have on Great Lakes Supply Co. The most common set that we sell is the level two protection. These are the SC1 KB2 and SC1 SB2. The KB2 is a longer protector and the SB2 is a smaller protector. All of these are universal joint protectors. They can be used in any pocket that they fit, but the KB2 is most often gonna be fitting in your knee or elbow slot, and the SB2 is gonna be most often fitting in your hip or shoulder slot. But it all depends on your riding gear and the size of the pockets that you have. These are level two protection. They're approximately nine millimeters thick, and they are the thinnest and most affordable level two protection that we have on our site. They transmit below 18 kilonewtons of force, and this surpasses the CE standard for level two by 10%. And like all the other ones, they are flexible, universal, and lightweight. So if they fit, they sit. <laughs> if you can fit these protectors into your pockets on your motorcycle safety gear, then they are a perfect solution for them. For those of you in warmer climates, you might want to check out our ventilated set, or for those of you who want the absolute most level two protection. We've got a couple of protectors here. They come in three different sizes when it comes to the level two ventilated. We've got two that mimic the size and shape of the SC1 KB2 and the SC1 SB2. So those are the KB2 Air and SB2 Air. And we also have a smaller one scaled down version of what is the shape of the KB2, but the height of the SB2. And that is what we call the XS or, you know, extra small. And it's the SC1KA2. All these protectors are level two and approximately 9.6 millimeters, but they transmit below 15 kilonewtons. So that extra little bit of a half a millimeter actually gives you more protection, even with these holes. So they're slightly thicker than our previous regular set, but they do offer the most protection. So if you want the absolute most protection at level two that you can get at a slightly higher price, very small price difference between the regular and the ventilated, go for these ones. They of course are ventilated. They've got holes in them, which is great for, I'd say the knees in particular, and they're flexible, universal, and lightweight. These guys surpass level two by 25%. So they're perfect for someone who wants the absolute most protection possible. In terms of our level one protection offerings, I call these level one plus protection because these surpass the requirements for CE level one by 30%. To qualify for CE level one rating, you need to transmit less than 35 kilonewtons of force. And these protectors actually transmit below 25 kilonewtons. 
So they outperform the standards by 30%. Here's how it compares size-wise to our extra small level two protection. So it is the same footprint as it, but these protectors are a lot thinner because they're just level one. So why would you choose this level one over the obviously more protective previous level two sets? This is if you want just the absolute thinnest level of protection. These are super thin protection. They both land below seven millimeters thick and they're a good option if your riding gear is snug or maybe if you even just ride a moped, scooter, e-bike, something that's not going as fast as a motorcycle, I think you can get away with these. If you want just nearly invisible armor, you don't have a lot of room maybe in the hips or if you don't like the tension across the knees that some armor might be providing, then you can go ahead and select these. They'll be perfect for you. You'll barely be able to feel them in there, but they're giving you a great amount of impact protection. You'll notice that this SC1 KCA Air has these extra notches out, and these make it really great for elbows and knees. These make it great for knees. The notches help contour around a more protruding joint, and in the case of knees and elbows, that's absolutely the case. Now, when it comes to a protector that is exclusively upper body protection, we have our back protectors or central spine protectors. This is the SC1 B472 and the B572. And the only difference between these, they're both super flexible, really great level two protection. Uh, the only difference is a little bit of width and a little bit of height. So choose these firstly based on the pocket size that you have available to you, and secondly based on your height if you have some variation to work with. If you have some Velcro where you can adjust the fit of it, but as you see, they are so very similar in size that it's not a dramatic difference for you to choose the bigger one if you're tall or the smaller one if you're short. It's a very similar experience. These ones are so great because they really do contour to your spine more so than any other back protector that I've used and it really helps it disappear in the jacket and be more comfortable. I've had um, people tell me that their more rigid back protectors will just kind of sit up straight or get stuck in their waistband, and this one will not do that, which I love to offer to people. The CE rating for central spine and back protectors is more strict than joint protection, and they have to transmit below eight kilonewtons of residual force. So you get a little bit more thickness on this type of protector, but of course you get a lot more protection. If for some reason you don't prefer this protector, the elements are large, or you just don't feel like you need a full level two protection on the back, we do sell a thinner level one back protector. It's got smaller elements. Um, there's really not a huge feel difference when you're wearing it, but this one transmits below 18 kilonewtons of force, which is exactly the same as what level two joint protection does. This one's lighter weight and like I said, thinner overall. So if you are looking for a different back protector option, this one could be great for you. Thank you so much for watching my comprehensive video on SAS type armor. I hope you learned a little something and don't forget that all of this is available on greatleaksupplyco.com and until next time, ride safe.